As an early mom, I worried a lot about how much nutrition I got into my baby every day. As I've grown in motherhood, I've, I've stretched it to a week. And I go for about a week, it, is my child getting what they need over the course of a week? And if there's a deficit somewhere, I'll fill it. And one of the ways that I'll do it is I'll sneak fruits and vegetables into their food. Smoothies is a great way to get fruits and some veggies in, because you can just, you know, plop it in there and it, it disappears with the taste. Spinach disappears with, the, with, with pineapple in there, it's gone. I care a lot about whether or not my children have good eating habits. It's very important to me. So one of the first things I do is have good eating habits myself to set the right example. So they've all surfaced with the desire to come in and help me in the kitchen, and I think it's fantastic because I use it as an opportunity to help them, teach them. We can grow together in our relationship with food. It's hard, though. I'll be honest and say that it, it's hard when you're trying to whip out a meal in the kitchen. It, it slows way down, and you have to be more diligent, and you have to pay attention to what everybody's doing and make sure no one slips anything in the batter that you weren't expecting in there. And so it's a, it's a process that can be tedious. And am I gonna take that time as a parent to spend that extra minute to teach this to my kid and give this to my kid? I encourage people to sit down and don't just inhale your food, but put your fork down between your bites and look around at your family and talk to them and ask them about their day and ask them about their friends and ask them about an interest that may have changed and really get to know them. Mm -hmm.